Dickens, he's Fenster. Starring John Aston, Marty Ingalls, with Emmeline Henry. Produced by Leonard Stern. Congratulations, you finally got him to do some work around here. Oh, I see, look at that. Yeah. Well, sort of took his mind off today. Well, I'll try it. I wish I would stop worrying about today. But he's a six to be made foreman. But he's forgotten more about the construction business than we'll ever know. He's the best carpenter in the business. The finest craftsman. He's the greatest worker. What does that not do with this door? I told you, use the magnet. Well, I'll have to use my hammer, Kate. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, H. <laughs> see. Hanky, harmonica, no, no, horseradish, hammer. <laughs> I can't believe this is a magnet, Kate. What do you say? Me? <laughs> It's a magnet, Kate. <laughs> Don't ever point this to the sky, Kate. You'll have a jet plane in your kitchen. Well, Harry was a little bit nervous last night. Well, if he was this nervous last night, what's he gonna be like today? I was telling Lorna about him last night. The way he... Lorna? Oh, yeah. My new girl, Kate. Lorna Arnold. Oh, she's... She's Miss Wright. Every time I see her, my, my heart skips a beat and my pulse bounds, bounds and my vision gets blurry. Yeah. Oh, you know about it? Yeah. <laughs> when did we get to meet her? Well, I'm uh, gonna go meet her first tonight. You know, you know, for the first time? Yeah. Uh, I could stop by on the way over. That'd be fine. Uh, I was telling Lorna last night, you know, that every time Harry gets an opportunity to do something, that's something he really wants to do, yeah. then he just tenses up and he blows the whole thing. Well, maybe today's gonna be different. But why? I mean, I'm glad, but why? Well, you know, Arch, in the past, whenever Harry's been involved in something really important, we have knocked ourselves out to tell him not to worry about it. Yeah, yeah. So maybe that's the problem. He worries because we worry. It's very psychological, Kate. It makes sense, too. <laughs> in other words, we just treat today like uh, any other day. Like any other day. Now, if Harry doesn't mention the promotion, why should we? If he's not nervous, there's no need for any discussion. No need. Hi, Arch. Good morning, dear. <laughs> I think it's time to open the discussion, Kate. <laughs> Harry, what kind of a day is it today? It's a day just like any other day. Where's Mal? It's almost seven. Well, relax. Don't get nervous. I'm not nervous, but look at the time. Oh! I'm all right, honey. I'm all right. Oh, there's Mal. We better go. Oh, here. Harry. Harry, you're a very capable man. Now, all you have to do is just start believing in yourself. Now, how about kids? <laughs> Chisel, give me 
Now, be careful, Harry, will you? Well, Arch, I'm 33 years old, and I got no sense of direction. I don't know where I'm going. Harry, everybody on the job says that Bannister's gonna make you the new foreman. Now, you please relax, you're in. You really think I'm in? Oh, Harry, you are in. <laughs> Pull the boxes away, you can crawl out through the horse. Break the bricks. I'll break the... Oh, look, I'll need my chisel. Harry, give me the chisel. Oh, Harry. Oh, Harry. Harry, are you in there? Harry. Harry, don't worry. I'll get you away. I gotta get you out of here. Hey. Hey, how'd you get out of there? This is the back of the fireplace. The hearth is in that room. Oh, that room? In that room. Oh, oh Harry. Oh, for a minute, I thought this was gonna be the tomb of the unknown foreman. <laughs> Yeah. Suppose Bannister didn't give me the job. Suppose he makes somebody else foreman. Who? Who? Well, you stop worrying. If you don't make foreman, then your name ain't Harry Dickens. Well, good morning, man. Good morning, oh, Mr. Good morning, Bannister. Mr. Bannister. Bannister. Oh, good morning, Fenster. Good morning, uh... Good morning there. <laughs> so how's it going? Oh, oh, couldn't be going better, huh, Harry? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, bet I know why you're, you're here, huh, Mr. Bannister? Well, I suspect everyone does. You, you can't keep a thing like that oh, secret. No, no, yeah. no. We'll be making the decision in the next day or two. Mr. Bannister? Yes, Mom. Ah, oh, the blueprints are ready for your inspection. Oh, thank you, Mulligan. I'll look at them right now. Will you excuse me, gentlemen? Yeah. Well, goodbye, Fenster. Goodbye, there. <laughs> you got it made, kid. You got it made? He didn't know my name. He just said, hello there, goodbye there. He didn't know my name. He knew your name. He called you Fenster. He didn't know my name. If a guy don't know your name, he's not going to appoint you for him. Are you worried about that? Then all we got to do is get him to know your name, right? Simple. Now watch me, I got a plan. Harry Dickens. <laughs> Harry Dickens. <laughs> Look, they drew a blank on your name, right? All we got to do is fill in that blank, right? We got to plant your name in their subconscious, understand? Harry, Harry, listen to me. They're thinking foreman now, right? Foreman, 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 foreman. Now, we keep saying Dickens, 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 Dickens. And before you know it, part one goes with part two, and they're thinking foreman Dickens, you know? Good. Try it. Try it. You got to try it. Try it once. Go on. <laughs> Harry Dickens. <laughs> How are things going, Mr. Bannister? Fine. Good. Nice talking to you. <laughs> Can't go up to him and say my own name. What difference does it make? He doesn't know who you are anyway. <laughs> Harry, believe me, the secret of these things is repetition over and over again. Now, we've got to plant your name in his head. It's the only way. Now, go on, Harry. Go on. You know, I think I've found the error in these blueprints, Mulligan. It's in the entrance hall. <laughs> you know, the air in these blueprints, Mulligan, is in the entrance Harry hall. Dickens. <laughs> you know, an entrance hall has got to have a fireplace. You know that. Harry Dickens. Harry Dickens. <laughs> you know, I'm positive it's the blueprints, Dickens. <laughs> See that? Diane's starting to work. He just called Mulligan Dickens. Now, we want The whole thing is crazy. I was crazy to let you talk me into it. I'm not getting a job, and that's all there is to it. He doesn't know my name, and there's nothing we can do about it. Harry, you're going to get the promotion, I'm telling but you. But he doesn't know my name. And oh. <laughs> Harry Dickens fell out the window. That's Harry Dickens out there. Harry Dickens is yelling and screaming out there. Listen, Harry Listen, will you stop that jabbering fencer, and let's get what's-his-name out of the cement. <laughs> he didn't know my name. He didn't know my name. He didn't know my name. Who's that? Arch, oh, now what's he coming over for tonight? I'm sorry, that's my fault. He has a new girl he wants us to meet. Oh, boy, it's gonna be high school time again. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be waiting on her hand and foot, bowing, scraping, treating her like a queen. Real high school time. Oh, Harry, answer the door, please. I want to fix the house up a little bit. Fix the house up? For who? For him? Will you cut that out? It's only Arch and some girl. Look, I don't want you serving a coffee or anything. I'll be here all night. Coming, Arch. Hi. 
Hiya, Kate. Kate, I want you to meet uh, Miss Lorna Arnold. Lorna, this is Kate Dickens. Hi. How do you do? Hi, oh, yeah, Lorna. <laughs> Thank you. Bright, huh? Yeah, very bright. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely home you have. Oh, thank you. Yeah. She's that polite, too. Yeah, very polite. <laughs> and of course, we're still fixing it up a little bit, as you can see. Where's uh, Harry? I don't know. I was here a minute ago. Harry? Harry? Good evening, one and all. Oh. H.D., <laughs> uh, I want you to meet uh, Miss Lorna Arnold. Lorna, this is Harry. Hello. How do you do, Lorna? Hello. <laughs> Lorna, would you like to sit down? Yeah, Lorna, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty fast on the draw, Harry. <laughs> Thank you. My pleasure, Lorna. Would you find the sofa more comfortable? Oh, thank you. My pleasure, Lorna. <laughs> He's polite, too. <laughs> Could I take your hat? Are you from these parts, Lorna? Uh, no, no. Lorna comes from, uh, from Scranton. Scranton? Yeah. Do you know anyone from there? No. <laughs> I, uh, I always wanted to go there, though. Yes, there are three places we've always wanted to see. Yellowstone National Park, the Grand Canyon, and Scranton. Uh, would you like some refreshments? Uh, oh, I don't want you to go to any trouble. No trouble at all. <laughs> How do you take your coffee? Cream, sugar? Too long. Sweets for the sweet. <laughs> I haven't heard that one since I was in high school. <laughs> I was telling Lorne about what happened to Harry this afternoon. That's what we came over here for. I was kind of worried about him, but uh, seems pretty chipper. <laughs> I wish Harry didn't make such a big thing out of Mr. Bannister's forgetting his name today. You know what? She doesn't mean a thing. That's what I told him. Mr. Bannister could be just, uh, you know, absent-minded. Yeah. So. Well, he remembered your name, didn't he, dear? Oh, yeah, but... Uh... Well, I'm sure Mr. Bannister knows Harry's name. He probably doesn't even realize he didn't call him by his name today. Well, it's quite possible that's what happened. And in that case, Harry's only concern is competition. Is anybody else eligible besides Arch? Oh, me? Oh, no, I'm... I'm... No, I'm too handsome to be foreman. <laughs> that's true. Coffee will be ready in a few minutes. Oh, listen, Harry, would you mind if we take a rain check on that coffee? Oh, I'm a little behind schedule. As is, you know, I'm meeting uh, Lorna's folks tonight for the first time. And, you know, okay, uh, you go ahead and you can pick her up on your way back. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I think it's kind of best that I take her with me. It's her fault, you know. <laughs> See you later. I don't have to walk us to the door. We'll see you later. I'll give you a call later, Harry. Okay? Thanks for everything. Drive carefully, Arch. Your precious cargo. <laughs> nice girl. Yes, Harry, she does seem very nice. Well, now, how about us having some of that cake and coffee, huh? No, I'm going to bed. You get some of <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs> You almost did. You look tired, honey. I'm tired, but I feel great. I was crazy to be so worried about Bannister not knowing my name. Last night, I went over the names of all the guys who might be competition for the job, and try as I did, I couldn't come up with the name of another guy who might be right. You considered Arch? Arch, he's no competition. He's not foreman material. He's not, uh, he's not a take-charge guy. He don't like giving orders. Arch, Arch don't even dress like a foreman. Look at the crazy outfits he wears. He's no competition. Well, Morning, group. Morning, <laughs> What's the idea of that? Where's your alphabet suit? Oh, my overall didn't come back from the laundry in time. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Mel not here yet? No. Oh, I better give him a call Come to hustle over here, huh? Why should you be the one to tell him anything? What's the matter with you? How about me, Sergeant? No, no thanks, Kate. Pass the sugar. What'd you say? Pass the sugar. Was that an order? 
I said pass the sugar. Uh-huh. You didn't say please pass the sugar. You didn't say uh, Harry, pass the sugar. You didn't say Mr. Dickens, pass the sugar. You said pass the sugar, right? Yeah, I said pass the sugar. Just as I thought. <laughs> you're after my job. <laughs> well, if your job is guarding the sugar, I'm after it. <laughs> Why don't you come right out and say, I want your job? Because your job won't sweeten my coffee now. Can I... <laughs> Please? Harry, Mr. Dickens, come on. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> oh, listen, I'd better give Mel a call. Something may have gone wrong. Hey, he wants my job. He's gonna get it. He's gonna be made for me. Oh, Harry, now stop. No, no, they knew his name. They didn't know mine. Because they knew his name, Harry doesn't mean he's going to get the job. Oh, yeah, yeah, he'll get it all right. He's got seniority. Seniority? What are you talking about? You both started on the same day. Yeah, yeah, but he was on time, and I was half an hour late. <laughs> he's been with the company 30 minutes longer than I have. Those things count, you know. <laughs> That's ridiculous. You were late one time, right? One time, and that was nine years ago. Who's going to remember that? Well, the line is busy. we better go without him. Come on, Harry, you can't afford to be late again. <laughs> What are you looking for, Harry? A level. Uh, hey, Harry, take mine. I don't want anything of yours. Hey, Mulligan, you got a level? <laughs> I'm sorry this had to happen, Arch. You guys have been friends so long. What, yeah. Nine years? Well, it's a lesson, isn't it? <laughs> All the time I invested in that guy. But there hasn't been a day in the last nine years I didn't spend with him. You guys will get together. No, no. No, Mel. It's all over, Mel. It's over and finished, and I've X'd him out of my life. What's the problem? Oh, they gave me the wrong bolt that I won't fit. I think I'll have to replace it. I don't know. I'll see you around. It's not here, Mulligan. Look in the back room. Okay. Or check the truck. All right. <laughs> Are you hurt, Harry? No, I'm saluting the flag. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Why didn't you warn me? Why didn't you yell, watch out? Harry, the way you're acting, you wouldn't listen to anybody. Try me just once. Go on, try me. Say, watch out. Go on, say, watch out. Watch out, Harry! <laughs> I'm all right. Some carpenter, what he does to wood, they should make him an honorary termite. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Bannister wants to see you. Congratulations. Congratulations? Yeah, it's official. You're the new foreman. Hey, that's great, Harry. Great. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Mel. <laughs> I'm sure you know why I asked to see it. Congratulations, Harry. Thanks. Thanks very much, Mr. Bannister. Well, you deserved it. Yeah. Uh, you know, Harry, I'm sorry to tell you that your first official act as foreman will be rather an unpleasant one. You know, there's one man on the job whom we regard as a troublemaker, and he's been, well, he's been spreading discontent among the men. Uh, Mr. McKendrick and I have, uh, uh, Mr. McKendrick and I have overheard a lot of complaints about him. You know, in the main, they've come from well, some of your former, uh, three of your former co-workers, you know. And, uh, well, I don't know, but uh, one bad apple can spoil the barrel, Harry. And, you know, I don't want you starting as foreman with that kind of a handicap. I'm afraid that you're going to have to fire this man. Well, if uh, somebody has to be let go, he uh, has to be let go. That's uh, foreman's responsibility. Uh, who's the man? Uh, Arch Fenster. <laughs> <laughs> Arch? Arch? 
Arch? Harvey, they wanted you to fire Arch. Mr. Bannister said if I don't fire him, the new foreman will. How do you walk up to your best friend and say you're fired? If only there was an easy way, a nice, gentle way of telling him. I don't think there is any gentle way of telling your best friend he's fired. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got it. I got it. I just say, Arch, take the day off tomorrow for the rest of your life. <laughs> Harry, maybe this doesn't make any sense. But if you were able to find those three guys, you know, who complained about Arch and got them to retract their story, you, you think that might save his job? Yes, honey, that would work. Mulligan, Bentley, and Leff. I'll talk to those three loud mouths the first thing in the morning. Mel, Listen, I want you to level with me, Mel. Is the, uh, is the uh, rumor true? Am I supposed to be fired? Yeah. And is it also true that uh, Harry can't bring himself to do it? I'm sorry, Arch. It's a pretty rotten deal after nine years on the job. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I only take the job to help my kid brother through college. He's almost through now. <laughs> You're an amazing guy, Arch. You know, you can make fun on anything. Well, I take it this way, Mel. I could always get another job, but... But if Harry don't fire me, then... And he don't make foreman. And foreman jobs are pretty scarce. Listen, is the banister still around? Yeah, I think he's in the office. Oh, good. Thanks, Lyle. I'll see you later. Come on, what... you guys. I don't know what you're talking about, Harry. We never complained about Arch. Maybe you just went around rapping the guy and they heard you. Not us. I don't even say anything about my wife, and you know I like Arch better than I do her. <laughs> we, we never said anything bad about him, except when we quoted you. Quoted me? That's right. You'd come up with some nifty and we'd tell the guys about it. Like what? Well, like yesterday, you said, uh, Art should be made an honorary termite. <laughs> and then the other day... Forget it. What's the matter, Harry? I just found out that you three loudmouths are me. <laughs> oh, what it comes down to, Mr. Bandis, is that I had never before been fired with such consideration and, and understanding and compassion. I mean, uh, I, Harry Dickens should be just put in charge of firing. <laughs> I, I felt like I was doing him a favor. Mr. Bannister, I only hope... Someday, I can be rehired by the company, just so I can experience another firing at the hands of Harry. That's uh, Harry Dickens, you know. Uh, uh, Mr. Bannister, it's been a terrible mistake. I was just telling Mr. Bannister what a wonderful job you did of firing me. We'll be seeing you, Mr. Bannister. Oh, Mr. Bannister, I didn't fire Arch. There's no reason to fire him. All those things you and Mr. McKendrick heard, those guys were just quoting me, repeating all the things that I said about Arch. You know, Arch Fenster is as good a worker as, as any guy you got on this job. He's a better worker than I am. It's my fault that he got into this trouble. He deserves to be foreman more than I do. Oh, I, I better discuss this promotion and firing with Mr. McKendrick's, and, and then we'll all get together tomorrow morning. Uh, well, Mr. Bannister... Uh, no, 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 tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. So long, Mr. Bannister. Yeah, so long, Mr. Bannister. Yeah, well, goodbye, Fenster. And goodbye, uh... <laughs> Dickens! Maybe I shouldn't have said he'd make as good a foreman as I would. Maybe they'll give Arch the job now. What did Mr. Bannister say? Oh, Bannister. He said he'd talk to McKendrick about it tomorrow. Honey, you've got nothing to worry about. You were their first choice. Besides, Arch, he doesn't even want the job. Yeah, that's right. It was Lorna put him up to it. Sure. Look, honey, when Arch and his new girl come over, why don't we go to a movie? Kind of take your mind off things. Good idea. Oh, I'll get it, dear. Hi. Hi, Kate. <laughs> Kate, I want you to meet Hillary. Hillary, this is Kate. Dick. Hi, Hillary. How come do you on in. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> well, Harry. Uh, this is Hillary. Hillary, that's Harry Dickens. Hello. Hello. I'm delighted to meet you. Arch told me all about what you did for him today. I did no more for him than he would do for me. Yes, well, I think it's wonderful that you two have such a deep friendship. I mean, that way, no matter which one of you is appointed, it can't possibly destroy your relationship. Which one of us is appointed foreman? Yeah, Harry. Hillary pointed out on the way over that we're both eligible. You eligible? Yeah. Well, yes. According to Archie, dear, you both started at the same time, and you've both been with the company for nine years. And, well, you yourself told my father that Arch is not only as Your good father. a worker as you, but... Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. This is Hillary Bannister. <laughs> <laughs> 